Hello, this is Blue Heron Tarot. We're gonna do Taurus for the month of May. You and your person or any other messages spirit wants to convey during this reading. This can apply to your sun, your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign. And I do give personal readings. They are in the description box down below. They actually start as low as $22 for a 15 minute recorded read, which is like really nothing and really fun. So Taurus, you and your person, we're gonna call on your higher self for a clear guided message, please. Whoa, that one wants to say hello to you, even though it hit the ground. Sometimes I like don't wanna take them when they hit the ground, but we will take it because look at that. That is an energy today. That is the energy today I'm getting because like Aries just got it too. Some of you guys are working on your career and your finances. I don't know. I just felt like not really keeping that one because I wanted to like really experience a, I want to experience a flying card right now. Uh, not 5,000 flying cards, but someone from your past is returning. There is a reconciliation energy going on with Aries. So check out that one, especially if you have Aries in your chart or, um, What? Unrequited love and honeymoon. Weird. And attraction. Okay. <laughs> there is a reconciliation going on, Taurus, with you and a person that you feel like doesn't love you back or the love is unrequited or you don't feel the same as they feel about you. Um, you guys are in separation, but you guys have a like, um, there is attraction there. I also see Taurus that you are experiencing the present moment now. You are smelling the flowers now. You are reconciling to yourself as well. Um, there's a not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. And actually what I'm getting, believe it or not, is there's not enough interest in game playing in hooks from the lower realms to keep this relationship going we are reconciling to ourselves and we are shedding unnecessary attachments and storytelling that no longer serves the direction in which you are moving in the present moment now you are smelling the roses now you are in the present moment now and that's what you're calling in if you are calling it anything okay so you're definitely reconciling to yourself if that makes sense to you I'm gonna go ahead and pull cards from your person's side. Okay. This person has strong, um, in the past, like, uh, they, they, they want you. Like, you are somebody that they wanna be with, okay? They also have a lot of independent energy, though, as well. Um, for some of you, this could be an air sign, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. They definitely have feelings for you. We get the three of cups. We have the, the, the nine of cups. Um, let me get a little bit more. They might've been like seven of voices. Uh, interesting, seven of voices. That's a seven of swords, so it's betrayal. Hmm. Oh, the devil wants to show up too next to the materials. Okay. All right. So I'm getting that this person in the past has feelings for you. They might actually be in another relationship as well or have other options, but you are their main like choice. I feel like this person's been doing a lot of like um, playing around, partying, um, experiencing their emotions, following their desires on a whim. And it was portrayed maybe as betrayal to you, but they like, I feel like they're saying to you right now, like I'm done with that, with the voices, with the seven of voices in reverse. I'm done with this kind of playing around. Okay. You are not super inspired to move towards this person in this now moment. Okay. Like that's not, that's not something you're interested in doing. And then the two of emotions. Wow, this person has a lot of love for you. Um, interesting. The 10 of inspiration. Um, for some of you, this person just has this energy of like, I don't, I, you're my wish fulfillment. You're amazing. Like, I love you, Taurus. But I, I'm off, you know, on vacation. I'm doing my life. I'm following every emotional whim. Like, 
oh, this makes me feel good, I'm gonna go do this. This makes me feel good, I'm gonna do this. And they're not really thinking it through. They might be in other relationships, they might be drinking a lot, sort of having fun, but they kind of, I don't even feel like they mean to betray you because somewhere deep down inside, they know that you're the one. Like with the two of cups in reverse, it's like repressed in a sense. It's also repressed that they're like messing with you, okay? Like they, they're so like in their own emotions and in their like, I almost wanna say like partying, that they're like not like even seeing, like you're perceiving it as unrequited love. They still see that they love, like that they have love for you. They, um, um, but they've just been playing in their own emotions. For some of you, they might be so emotional that they're kind of like, you know, like in this, you know, wavy kind of pool of water and just going with each wave and direction and not having any intention. They're just going with the flow of whatever, you know, emotional prompting like comes their way and they follow it. Okay. They don't really want to take responsibility um, for what they're doing. There's none of that going on. Okay. At least in the past. And in the past that it was happier Right now, there's like some repression going on with them, okay? It's like they've been partying for so long, they, they aren't seeing clearly um, who they are even. You know, if they are betraying you, they don't see it. Um, if, and they, if you are their soulmate, they don't see it or they can't fully like own it, especially because they've been absorbed in their own emotions like following all that you know i don't know it's weird okay you know in the past um oh my gosh what is going on here taurus okay in the past some of you this really is a libra getting libra energy For some of you, you're like, hmm. You've offered them love. You know, you never gave them too much, but your intention was always to like, I don't know, even marriage or um, your intention was to balance things out with this person, you know, to, um, also I'm getting that this is just a karmic relationship that's teaching you something. Um, they definitely never wanted it to end with you. Like there's the energy of like going around and around. It's like not over between the two of you. And then for some of you, um, this person just has a lot of emotions for you. I don't know. I don't know. Let's go further. I'm getting a little bit, yeah, interesting energies. Taurus, for some of you, you're not feeling it. Like this person has either been in their emotions and following them and, and in a sense maybe betraying you. Others of you, this person actually has had such strong emotions for you that they had to get away from you. For some of you, you might have been in another relationship. For some of you, you might have found somebody else and this person's had to get away from you because they like loved you so much. So I think there's two stories going on because um, I'm starting to get like, the energy of like, you never really could go all the way and commit to them. Well, that's not true. It's really all over the place. It's like, you are gonna commit to them, you wanted to commit to them, they have a lot of emotions for you, but their emotions are so unstable that they might have ran off with somebody else, or you did, and um, there's this sense of betrayal, or maybe this unknown betrayal between the two of you, or things going on behind, you're back. Taurus, I do not see you interested in this person right now. And I think deep down inside, this person knows that you're you're the one for them. But you're, I don't see you moving towards them. This person seems to want to build something with you, okay? Getting strong Libra energy, Leo. 
Those are the big ones. And Aquarius. Um, yeah, interesting. I'm going to start doing this roomy cards because um, I'm kind of getting more that you, this person wants to reconcile with you and you're not quite feeling the same. I feel like this person moved away from you because they couldn't handle their feelings for you. Okay. For some of you, they, 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 this person feels betrayed by you even. It could go reverse, like that this person betrayed you. But right now in the energies I'm seeing, um, they want to build something with you um, or that energy is coming out. But you're just not feeling very strong about it. You might be juggling more than one person. Whatever purifies you is the right path. I will not try to define it. With the Seven of Pentacles, we have the Page of Pentacles. Beyond the rightness or wrongness of things, there is a field. I'll meet you there. Okay, this person's basically like Eight of Pentacles. Everyone has been made for some particular work, and the desire for that work has been put in every heart. This person works a lot with the Pentacles. This person's willing to put the work in when it comes to you. This person's um, willing, this person moves into this energy of straight up work. I don't know if they just start doing their own work because they can't get to be with you. But um, there's something about this that it's teaching you something, okay? And I feel like you're starting to see that this person is teachable. Let, let the... Beauty we do that. Let the beauty we love be what we do. Nine of Cups. So I feel like you were starting. They no, because it was in a reverse. Never think you are better than others. Listen to their sorrows with compassion. If you want peace, don't harbor bad thoughts. Do not gossip. Do not teach what you do not want to know. Huh. I don't feel like you want to move forward with this person in the near future, Taurus. Although I do think that this person wants, yeah, I don't think you want to move forward with this person in the near future. I don't. I think that this person wants to come back and reconcile, but I don't feel like you feel the same, Taurus. Roles could be reversed. They want to work on it, and if they're not, and if you, that you're not going to work on it with them, then they're going to go work on their work. They're going to do their work and they're going to heal. They're going to keep healing. They're on a path of healing and, ref and refinement, but they still think about you. And I don't know why they're coming through because your energy is like kind of this no, but they want to be known in this reading, Taurus. What's that all about? They want to say hi to you. A seven of Wands. All people on the planet are children except for a very few. No one is grown up except those free of desire. I mean, Taurus, this person is being like having to let go. They've had so much desire, so much emotional attachment towards you or towards things. They're like an emotional, like they're pruning their emotions and moving on a path of stability, this person. Okay. And, you know, you're not ready to be with them. I mean, maybe you have this memory of them being like nuts, you know, like just too emotional, too crazy and something ungrounded. And you're like, no, thank you. They don't have their mind like like their minds out of control. They follow their emotions too much, you know. But they are working on it. I feel like you start to see it in the future, but you still, um, you know, you still not sure. You know, you might communicate with them here and there, and they might even perceive you in the near future as like unfeeling and too logical. Um, but maybe that's the energy in which they need to like kind of learn how to embody. So this energetic is teaching you guys both confidence and to grow up. Okay, this is teaching this person hands down to grow up. But you know, that which is outside of you is you. And this, this energy wants to say hello to you, Taurus. So there is sort of like... Um, 
Um, there's an energy of growing up. Like even if you're seeing this person grow up, it's because you weren't chasing an immature energy, I wanna say, anymore. Um, you're letting it go. Um, I don't know, let me get a little bit more with this. The Five of Pentacles, that's a loss, that's abandonment. You're overcoming abandonment issues, this person's overcoming abandonment issues. The Sun, okay. Why ever talk of miracles when you are destined to become infinite love? Okay. The sun, the seven of wands, the five of pentacles. You are releasing abandonment issues. This person is releasing abandonment issues. You might be a triggering the abandonment wounds of this person. Um, but because you kind of held your own ground, um, you're kind of here to like not kind of be a part of the drama but be stable in your Taurus energy. And it gets this person to move into a place of stability with all these pentacles at the end. And the whole purpose of this stuff is to like be the infinite love that you are um, and grow up, become happy, release the abandonment wounds, the abandonment issues. Um, and kind of get like you get out of the judgmental thinking and just kind of move into the the present moment now. This person's abandonment wounds um, mirror yours as well. You might have had overbearing parents. And so thus you like created this overbearing energy um, as a partner um, that you want nothing to do with anymore. You're creating your own boundaries. You're not moving towards that energy anymore. Um... And it's shifting the energy of this person to just work on themselves and learn how to be happy within themselves. And, and for you to do that as well. Um, you're unable to really commit to this person or anybody until you can move into a place of commitment towards yourself. And I feel like that's what you're reconciling. Um, yeah, this is an interesting reading. So, you know, the path, the outcome, even though reconciliation is like really what this person desires, I don't feel like you're ready for it. Um, you're cutting off any kind of energy that is overbearing and too emotional. Um, you're not letting those boundaries cross over into your field. Um some of you, this side feels like it has that more avoidant personality and that's the abandonment issues or, you know, um, you know, you're not allowed to be your whole sovereign self in your past. Um, so these overbearing people come and kind of take over and then you don't know who you are. So um, it's hard to love who you are when you the boundaries have been blurred in the past. So you're, you're reclaiming the sovereignty and learning what you want and what you want to do in the present moment now. And this person's really teaching you to balance those energies because you're really juggling. You're juggling who am I? You know, you, you've, your boundaries have been crossed by the external from your upbringing and you're, you're honing it in. And you're not communicating with those energies. You're reconciling to yourself and you're bringing your energy back in and you're allowing those other energies to leave. And you're not, you're saying no to that. And it allows this other energy to work on themselves and be their own whole being. And I feel like that's what you guys are doing together. But it's really moving into really being grown up within yourself and healing abandonment issues. Now I am sober and there's only the hangover and memory of love. It's, it's sobriety. You know, it's like leaving the addiction of the hooks and the love and the blurred lines and, you know, the sense of self based on external. You're leaving that. For some of you, there's Aquarius energy here. Or you're moving into your own genius, Taurus. Um, fire, genius, desire. Huh. 
sun. There's a lot of sun energy, a lot of spiritual energy. You're moving into your pure truth, your pure wholeness. Taurus, I really feel like this person too is doing this, but and they're teaching you. You're pruning off external validation for your wholeness and moving into your own wholeness. You're letting this energy go for now and moving into your own genius, your own desire, your own happiness, your own pure truth. You're reconciling to your whole self, if that makes sense. Kind of intense, Reed. Um, Uh, no, 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 no. Okay. Thank y'all. Oof. That's so annoying. Life lessons, soul growth, study, higher learning, child of the cosmos, intelligence of the universe lies within you. Exactly. I mean, that's it. A new earth, it's happening. Keep holding the vision. You know, it's like moving into the new earth, moving into these new visions, moving into the new earth, the, the higher dimensions. It's, it's an expansion of self. It's an expansion of, of perception. And how do you expand in perception if you don't know who you are in, the, in, one, in one dimension, right? So this is a reveal that... You needed this energy in order to feel whole, but it's overbearing. So you're letting it go and you're getting the wholeness within yourself. You're reconciling to yourself. And as you do that, this energy is healing. This is the way to heal the world is heal the inner self, the whole self. And then that everything around you shifts and changes. All right. The unrequited love that you have for the external and you allow it to continue is that unrequited love that you have are not having for yourself, right? So you're moving in, you're having the love for yourself, you're moving in the present moment now, you're letting energies that don't serve, that are overbearing, that cross boundaries to go, so that they can do the work on themselves. And together, you guys can create the new earth, whether you end up together or not, okay? I don't really see, because this really was in reverse when it came out, I don't see that you want this person in the future, okay? I don't feel like, I feel like you're still, um, you're holding the vision and you're learning and you're growing up into the child of the cosmos. The intelligence of the universe lies within you. That's what you're tapping into. You're tapping into your pure truth, your happiness. All right. So, okay. I want to leave it at that, Taurus. These are very intense reads. Um, so I have personal reads in the description box. If you would like one, it just... Click on the description box down below and I have a scheduling app and it's super easy and um, and that's all. So I really appreciate you, Taurus. Thanks for hanging out this long and have a very good month. Sending you love.